The interesting thing is that we met for the first time here in Washington. And for some reason, there was a meeting of the minds. And, and I don't know what stimulated the, 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 the connection, but it, it, what, what was it? Okay. Well, I think it was in your, the very first plenary. plenary um, you made a comment about, um, you asked the question about taking the thought from transactional thought to transformational thinking. And could we move away from trans, transactional thinking? And I think one of the things we talked about that was moving away from this linear thought process yeah. and um, trying to take a more holistic, um, whole systems thinking approach which will help engage that conversation on a little deeper level. Um, yeah, absolutely, because if we look at the sustainability challenges that we're all facing, mm -hmm. they're not simple challenges. They're not straightforward, linear uh, challenges where you've got an engineering or formula-based solution that you can actually fix. I mean, these are soft, complex systems things. To me, the transactional space is really, really characterized by relatively low trust environment. So we've got to codify and document and formalize everything into agreements and standards and constraint solutions. Okay? Right. And, uh, and, and, and other hallmarks of that is we, like you're saying, we're operating in silos, mm -hmm. we're defending our positions. Sometimes there may be some dysfunctional self-interest and when we don't meet each other, okay, we go to court. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and that's how we resolve things. It's in a very formal mm -hmm. trade-off uh, type of way, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, now, a, tra a transformational type of relationship is, 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 I think, characterized by high levels of trust that have been built and nurtured and very creative solutions, right? Mm -hmm. where, you, where you're not thinking about, uh, about what is, but what, what could, could be. be. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. what should be, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, 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 and to get there, you need that level of trust because once there's trust and you yeah. feel there's, there's a sense of safety yeah. in, in the space for conversation, that's what allows the opening of possibilities for solution. It's not just stakeholder engagement, but it's also how we look at impacts, how, how uh, projects, um, uh, call, uh, have potential impacts to communities um, and we often look at those impacts as, as siloed entities and not connected when in reality and in the way the world works um, communities are connected to the land, land is connected to the wildlife, the wildlife is connected to the waters and when we actually approach our stakeholder engagement and our way of looking at what the potential impacts are associated with a potential project or development, um, it becomes much more valuable and much more effective when we look at the interconnectedness of all those things. And to do that, we actually have to think interconnected. We have to think holistic. I, I think there was instead a, of being yeah. really siloed and say, okay, I'm going to look at this group. I'm going to have conversations with this group, and I'll have a conversation with this group, and I'll study the water here, and I'll study the plant life over here. When really all of those things are interrelated. There are times, yeah, when we need to be transactional. Okay, um, it's not all just about being transformational, but there are also times when we have to be transformational and being transactional might constrain it. Making the transition from that transactional low trust constrained solution environment to transformational is not something that can just happen and I think that's probably the challenge that we're facing right. uh, as, as an industry. The steps to get there are, are to I think take the time to look at what your initial pro problem is or what your initial issue is and take the time to see how many other things that that single thing is connected to. I don't know what the final picture will look like because I don't have the solutions. I just know that it'll be better than what is, right? So what I would tend to focus on is, well, how to actually get there. And, 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 and 
agreeing completely with you saying if you understand the whole system and the linkages and how they connect then you can start saying okay what are the key issues what are the key connections that we can focus on and leave us so we stop moving we stop focusing on the symptoms and we look at the underlying causes and those are the things that we actually fix exactly. but we fix together yes. with the stakeholders not for stakeholders and it's the our solutions I want to continue this conversation. Yeah. Meeting you was great. <laughs> Meeting you was, was great. Truly special thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> cool.